Hi guys, welcome to this video and it is officially my very first sketchbook flip through or sketchbook tour. Now I'm an artist who's always had a sketchbook but never practiced it absolutely regularly like daily sketching. That was never me. I always worked on bigger projects like paintings or um, you know finished pieces for canvases or drawings that I would give to somebody. So I don't know, I just never really sort of worked a hell of a lot in my sketchbook until lately. So the last year and a half of my life I have tried my very best to keep sketching in my sketchbook and it has definitely helped me improve my skills. I thank YouTube a lot for that, my choice of having this channel and being able to create everything for on here as well. So thanks YouTube for encouraging my work in my sketchbook because I'm super happy that I've discovered this practice. I really recommend sketching whenever you can, it's just so much fun. But yeah, you can do anything arty in these and so I really rate them now and having said that, let's just get on with the video and I will show you through what I've created in my sketchbook. So I just titled it Torrin Sketchbook and started on June 3rd, 2020 and it's finished just recently on January 26th, 2022. Our first page is now this is a Japanese technique called hirameki. I'll put a note on here of how to actually pronounce it. Um, but this was something that I saw someone do on YouTube where you just kind of get bits of ink or watercolor um, first and you drip them onto your page, just or, you know, smudge them on just really loosely and it creates these dots. Um, it reminded me of Mr. Squiggle. I don't know if that was worldwide, but Mr. Squiggle was you know, one of my favorite things to do as a kid. Um, so it really reminded me of that and I wanted to give a, a try and it was really hard. <laughs> it was so hard. So all these, the colored bits are what you see that I had to create from my mind, a sketch that would, you know, use them as part of it. And it was definitely tricky to do. My favorite one is this little girl. I saw like this little hat shape and it turned into this funny little girl with a teddy on her back. And I like this one with the cat and she's playing with the, the girl's backpack. So I'm happy with those two, the rest of them definitely not my favorite pieces. <laughs> Next page is Jamaica. This was actually the first thing I did in this sketchbook, I remember. Um, and it was one of my first sketchbook videos that I did on YouTube. Um, this was back in June 2020. So that was when I was looking through Jamaica for my bullet journal. This one is, I was actually working on a friend's children's book idea that she was putting towards publishers. And so she wanted some sketches to go with it. And these, this was one of the final pieces that I came up with. And then I transferred that into a proper piece of artwork that came along with watercolors. And she submitted that to the publishers. Um, and then this page was still focusing on some character design. And that's my mom and dad's dog, Charlie. This page is, this was when I was working on my patterns, that's why. Right. So when I did Australia in the bullet journal, I did a um, pattern using the natural flora and fauna. So I chose like a little cockatoo, um, not a cockatoo, a galah, and then the banksia flower as well, grevillea. And that was where I learned that proteas are South African. <laughs> so I can put those in it. That was that page. Some more work on that children's book. And then this was the final piece of Charlie. I made this for my mum because um, Charlie died in 2020. So that was just like a little rem remembrance thing for him. Here we have um, unicorns that I was practicing. I, I remember being really stoked with how this turned out because I wanted to try my hand at doing something a little bit more graphic uh, in my sketching. And so I think that was the one I started with. Then I went to that one. And that was the final piece that went on to a, um, a little baby chino cup. Um, another friend of mine had started her business and she does the little chino social cups. I'll leave their link down below in case you're wanting one for yourself or for your kids. They're like little baby chino cups, bamboo ones. And I've done all the artwork for her and they're so much fun to do. This one is another study for Jordan. So that was July in my bullet journal in 2020. And I really like how this one turned out. That was watercolor. And it was very different to what I'm normally used to doing. I tried to I tried to be very loose. It still looks quite detailed to me now. But I tried to do it very loosely. These ones are the five bullet journal flowers in different ways. So I explored doing um, with pen, with colored pencil, and then with um, 
watercolors down the bottom. I really like these. Look, like these are my favorite flower of all time, hydrangeas. I just drew another one of them quite recently too. And then the next page is a long one. It tries to go across the full bit. I quite like how it fades off the edge. This was when I was exploring Austria, which looked amazing. And this place here, Holstadt, I totally want to go. It's just gorgeous. I really like that. I like how there's like, you know, nothing and then it fades into more detail, more detail. And then it's like all of the village is just there, just water. I like the composition of that. Uh, this was a video that I did last year or the year before about titles for um, your bullet journal. Just some ideas. I should really look back at that. <laughs> back at those for ideas in my journal. I guess because I'm always doing country themes, I never really need to like um, look into sort of just decorative ways. It's more about the country and how it looks. Um, these are some really creepy looking characters. See, I'm never very good at character design. I've always tried to draw based from my mind, but I find it really tricky. Um, so I'm trying to do that and I'm trying to get better at it all the time. It's something I hope to one day achieve. That should go on my goals list for sure. Um, but yeah, feel happy and proud of something that I create from the mind would be amazing. Um, yeah, these creatures or this person just looks really scary to me. And these ones up here, I was just practicing the, um, like how I would come, like put together the piece for, uh, was it the Finland? Yeah, I think it was the Finland one. Yeah, because it was the bear. So that was my Finland art on cue piece. I was just preparing the composition of it. And then this one, I'll have to turn around this way. This one was for my South Korea sketchbook piece. Um, I really like this one. This is the, I like the line hatching that I've used throughout it. This is all done in ink, like ink pen, microns I think, and then just a pink highlighter because it was very neon for South Korea. If you haven't seen that video, that was um, one I was really proud of. I really loved using all the fluoro colors in it. Lots of highlighter action. This page is just some random sketches, I think. I don't even remember doing these. Oh, I think I was trying to come up with my signature here. <laughs> I do that so often. I'm always trying to write my name in like a slightly nicer way, something more interesting. I find it a really difficult name to work with. Um, it's an unusual name and I was just trying to work out how I could get it to look quite cute in all my social media posts. Still haven't worked it out, so never mind. And then just more drawing from the mind and trying to get a style happening and being able to see faces without you know, using references and stuff. And then this one, I was going to apply to do this big mural in Perth. Um, and I really liked this concept because you had to kind of design something that had, um, what was it, encompass? No, was it? Compass? Oh no, it was compassion. <laughs> compassion, belong, and maybe some other word. And I wanted to try and, oh, they're right here. Compassion, belong, strength, trust, courage, and courageous curious <sighs> anyway so they had all these they had all these um you know ideas that they wanted to show in the mural itself and this is as far as I got I thought I'd enter but then I was like bogged down with other work so I like the concept that I came up with would have been cool if I had actually put more effort into it and um you know presented it who knows how far it would have gone probably not very far but still it was worth a try oh this is my favorite page this is my favorite page in the whole book. This is another one of those um, Little Chino Social Bamboo Keep Cups. And this went wrapped around the entire um, cup, but it was actually inspired from Oman because Oman has amazing underwater life and sea creatures there. So that was this. I love the colors and just the brightness and happiness of it. It's so happy. <laughs> Next page is a little bit of a, um, a jumble of things, I guess. I've got some sketching. These are actually, I did quite recently for a video for Patreon. Um, and I may have uploaded the Patreon video or I may have not by the time you see this. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I was focusing on some tarot cards. I recently bought some tarot cards and I 
thought I would try my hand at drawing them myself and seeing if I could modernize them and use my style to create some. So that was those two. Then we just had some sketching of like expressions, just trying to get more expressive with them. Um, that was hydrangea, just because I felt like it. <laughs> and then the other side. Uh, oh yeah, I was just trying to do different facial expressions and different kind of um, diverse cultures. I, you know, I just loved this hair on this girl. Like it's just so full and I thought, oh, that would be really fun to draw. So I had so much fun drawing her here that I drew her again in a different position um, with textures or markers. And I love the idea of working with markers in different like colors for the skin tone. I don't often do that. I'm a very realist kind of drawer. And so it's really hard for me to get my head around using different colors to create shades and things like, you know, using purple for the shadow, for example, or, you know, I think I used green in here to try and get some darkness in the darker section. I don't know how much it works. I mean, I don't hate it. I, I like it. I just think that I definitely want to practice that more to try and get better at seeing colors in how we can, you know, get different shadows and textures and things like that. And then this one was a Chinese girl that my daughter actually wanted me to draw. She said, we sat down for a sketching session and then I said, okay, what should we draw? And she said, um, um, a Chinese lady, please, because they're so pretty. And I was like, okay, perfect. <laughs> I'd never drawn, drawn a Chinese lady before. So I thought, oh no, I have. I don't know if I have. I've never done one before um, and I thought, you know what, let's go for like really harsh lighting. So like this is all white and then there was just the black of the eyes and the eyelashes and the hair and showing through so it was really high contrast. So I thought that would be fun to do. So there's that one and then this last one was just, you know, a reference I found on Pinterest. felt like sketching, so I did. And now moving on to the next page. This one was definitely back in May. I think I had attempted a couple of mermaids or mermaid and I've never actually, well, I don't think I've ever done a mermaid properly and put it onto social media. This was just for myself to see if I could. I really like this one. Um, Cause once again, most of my sketching in here, I'm trying not to use references. So these ones were done without a reference and I was really pleased with this one, um, how it worked out. That one, not so much. And then I loved just decorating the spreads on this page with this beautiful washi tape. And that one there is Delta Goodrum. If you're not familiar with her, she's an Aussie singer. Um, and I used to be obsessed with her. <laughs> so that's a drawing of her. And then this one was creating the composition for my um, coffee, which was Yemen. Yemen coffee art on cue piece that was just coming up with the composition, which I really liked. It's like a half, you know, half coffee steam coming up is her hair. And the, the coffee plant comes out of the teacup. Things like that. I like those kind of things. And then this one was a polar bear that I had decided to sketch for. Ooh, I'm struggling now. For Finland? Iceland? No, total mind blank. I'm sorry, I can't tell you. Um, I also have a video of that, I think, of how to draw a polar bear. So if you do want that, I'll link to the video. And then in this one, I was creating the composition again for one of those art on cue pieces. This one was definitely New Zealand because the word was cloud. Um, yeah. I think I went with, I didn't go with any of those actually. No, they were just little thumbnail practices. And then just a swatch of the beautiful Kiritaki Ganzai Tambi colors, the gold, so gorgeous. And that one there is a Medusa for my Grease Art on Cue piece. This here is, it looks nothing like her, but this was trying to work from life from my daughter Quinn. She was sitting quite still for a change and I said stay still <laughs> and then I tried to sketch her but it really does not look anything like her so that was I mean it looks all right to look at but just not her at all so that was not not great and these little guys are me trying to come up with my quokka character um I eventually will write 
well, I've pretty much written it all, write this book and do the illustrations for a book um, that I have been wanting to do for a long, long time. And this year is the year I'm going to do it. I'm thinking that I will actually document the process of it as well and maybe take you guys or, you know, if it's not right for the channel, I might put it onto Patreon. But yeah, I'm going to be definitely working on my little quokka book. And then this one here is that big painting that I just did for Venice, um, the 1860 by one meter canvas. Um, it was a beast and it took me ages to decide what I wanted to put on it. And this was actually one of the options that I really felt strongly about for a long time. So this, I did a little mock-up of it in here. So this was the kind of idea. And that was after exploring Morocco with the doors, like the beautiful doors in Morocco and just like the, just the little windows and the rusticness. I just wanted to have that on my wall. Um, but in the end I got, I got waylaid and I got distracted and then I lost that, that kind of fire. And then I found it again in Italy and did Venice. So this next one is the prep for my art on cue piece for Wales. This was the girl with the dragon on her shoulder and all the ivy. I think the theme, oh yeah, the word was lush. Um, yeah, so that's that one. And then this little koala there, I just stuck this in because it was on a floating piece of paper at the back of my sketchbook. And I wanted to remember him because he's quite cute. I drew him for, or I made him for, um, the washi tape collection that I did, but I didn't end up going with this idea for the Australian washi tape. So he's just there for now. And then this one is, I'm still really happy with this. This was actually a draw this in your style that was prompted by I'm a wonder. And she had the um, sun goddess and moon goddess. And then you, and she had a like cool drawing and I was like, oh, that is right up my alley. And I thought I would try it in this gold style and I still love this piece. Um, I really, really love it. One thing I'd like to do is go over all of the um, lines again because the watercolor is actually quite opaque and it's sort of foggied up a lot of the line work. So I could go over it, but you know, that's a lot of effort. <laughs> Next page. Sketching from the mind, don't love. <laughs> Sketching from the mind, do love. I actually think they're super, super cute little rabbits. Um, that was after watching a Drawing with Waffles um, video. I think she'd drawn rabbits or something. She was inspired by rabbits. And after watching a lot of hers, I sort of turned it off and thought, can I do it? Can I make one from memory? So yeah, I did that. I was quite pleased with those. And then these are also just from my mind. Um, I find they always look a little bit stiff and expressionless when they're from my mind. Um, but I feel like I'm improving. I can see some improvements there. This is another one of the washi tapes that I designed for the washi tape shop. So this one was for Mexico. Um, and it took me ages. <laughs> it took me ages to do it that way. And then I learned a better way to create the washi tape art. Um, but I still am really happy with, with this tape and it's a lot of people's favorites. So I'm glad I put the effort in. Um, this one is, I also stuck this guy in because he was floating around and I wanted to keep it. This is the design that I created for the mural that I painted on my wall in my living room. Uh, also, another video is there if you want to see me painting this. Um, most of it's done actually with a Sharpie and then just a couple of sample pots of, you know, Dulux or whatever, whatever brand it was that I used of house paint. Um, so that's that floral mural. And then here I was just composing the um, cover page of one of my bullet journal covers. And then this is also working on the washi tapes for Finland inspired. Um, yeah, I'm pretty certain that's Finland. Yeah, because of, yeah, got the, um, oh, now I'm testing myself again. I swear I am not this vacant at all times. It's just the camera. Uh, camera shyness, stage fright, that's what it is. Anywho, that was definitely Finland for the washi tapes. This one is another one for Little Chino Social, doing more of those cups. Um, she wanted a quokka themed one because um, they're obviously Perth, they're a Perth 
they're a Perth um, based business and they wanted a Perth animal. The only place you will find quokkas is here on Rottnest Island, which is just off of the coast of Perth. Um, so a little bit of geography lesson for you there. Um, but quokkas are the cutest creature. And like I mentioned, I'm doing a book with a quokka in it, um, but it won't be this kind of style. It'll be like the other style. So this, in fact, these guys didn't even go on it. This was first round. We weren't happy with this one. So we went for another design. And then this was the same job again, another one that I wanted to do, that she wanted a um, woodland forest, like an enchanted forest kind of thing. And I think I put the final piece in here somewhere, which I'll show you again. <laughs> this, is, this is just a um, very funny page for me to look at because it's cows. And we were down south in a place called Kawaram Up, um, which is shortened to Cowtown. So in the southwest of Perth, uh, or of WA, there's a place called Cowtown or Kawaram Up, and they have cows all around the town. So there's like, um, I don't know how many, but there's one cow that sits on a stick in the middle of a park, and there's just a cow outside the liquor store and outside the little um, supermarket. <laughs> just all through the little village is cows made from, I'm guessing, fiberglass, and they're decorated, decorated. each one is painted nicely. So it's a really fun place to take the kids because, um, they can sit on them and stuff. But anyway, me and my husband were on the balcony of where we were staying and we were looking out and you could see straight down to a cow in like a little field. And it just seemed really funny. So I thought, I'm gonna sketch it. And I was drinking wine at the time. So cow and wine, makes complete sense now, right? <laughs> uh, okay, and then this one was just obvious, some sketches of house plants. Most of these are things I've had in my house, like these, that one, that one, that one, and that one. And these two are from the mind. And then this piece is quite random. I think I was just trying to draw um, a, a figure from the mind, like a fashion drawing sort of style. And I was really into just, this is probably only a couple of months old, but I've just recently found a shop that has nice, um, very boho dresses that I really fell in love with. And so I was in this like real mindset of, trying to find my own style and you know trying to get more um, creative with what I wear and things like that I can be quite bland um, but yeah I really loved this dress that I saw and I drew it and then I just used some washi tape to put over it and just kind of connect it together because it looked a little bit plain and I didn't feel like coloring it so that worked out really well lots of fun and then this is that cup I was telling you about earlier so this is the final um, the final piece this was all done digitally and that's what it looks like on the little cup I like him it's very cute I love the colors and then this one just a page of random bright sketches this was using um, I think this was using alcohol markers and that's why I stuck in that page because it all soaks through alcohol markers are so annoying like that but they're just so much fun to work with and then we had my get to know me, no, is that what it's called? Meet the artist, meet the artist tag. That's, that was meeting me then. Also got a video of that on the channel. Chips. Yeah. And then, uh, and then here we must have been in Costa Rica because that is a toucan. And I remember just seeing a lot of birds in Costa Rica and being very inspired to draw birds and things. So that must have been then. And I've got some notes here on the side where I was deciding what to create for the art on cue piece for Costa Rica. And then this one, another bunch of facial sketches trying to work from the mind. Don't love a lot of them, but I do want to say this one here, this blue one, this was the first one I did on the page. How much does it remind you of Emily Blunt? Anyone? I think so. <laughs> uh, this guy is, um, this must have been a blank page because I did this one sort of recently. Um, this was the Christmas, I, I woke up in, I think it was in the morning and I had like a flash of a Christmas card that would look cute. <laughs> and so I thought, quickly go sketch it. So before breakfast, before my cup of tea, kids were up and I just like bypassed them, went straight to the office and drew this little sketch while it was fresh in my mind and I think it's really cute I don't know that it's very unusual 
or different, but it's quite sweet with the mountain, the village on the side of the mountain, the Christmas tree, all very angular, and then some dripping snow. So Merry Christmas. And then I guess with the Christmas vibe, I felt like drawing the Grinch. I think my daughter was watching the Grinch at the time, so I thought I would sketch it. And then the next page is something I'm super happy with and I still haven't done anything with, but I hope to in the future. I was in that Costa Rican um, feeling of like learning, oh, was it Wales? No, where's the puffin from? Okay, puffins have come up a few times, um, but yeah, at, at some point in the year, I realized that birds are really fun to draw and they're so cute. And these particular birds were like my favorite. And so I thought with the word puffin, it made me think of muffin. And then I was like, what about a puffin muffin? So I drew one and I think it turned out really cute. Um, so I'm yet to color those. I want to color them digitally and maybe create some, some stuff from it. But yeah, the puffin muffin, and then I did the kiwi fruit. <laughs> Look at it, it's so cute. And then the quetzal pretzel. Yep, and then the toucan pie <laughs> instead of pecan pie. Um, yeah, so I felt a little bit, a little bit fun with that. That was good fun. <laughs> Uh, another random sketching page. I think I was, you know, just maybe even just doodling while I was on the phone or something. And then this uh, is the page of my washi tapes that I did with the washi tape shop, the Wonderlust series. So I just thought I'd stick them in there so that I can always um, remember when they were done and, you know, what I created. So that's really nice to have. And then some more mind sketching, Ske mind sketching, should I label that as the word, mind sketching, um, and I'm using color arrays pencils here which are so fun to use, and then some pen on top, I really liked this one, this lady came out um, really nice, I like the shape of her face, um, for some reason I quite like the sharpness, I think I finally got the proportions well, like well done in that, so Good job, Toz. And then this one is, you might find um, recognizable from the cover page of my current bullet journal. So that was me practicing the girl who, you know, goes um, into the books that she's researching about all the countries and stuff. So she's our little magical starter girl from our bullet journal. And then now we're getting quite recent. This one I did for a prompt from Minnie Smalls. She's a YouTuber that I just love and I follow her on Patreon and she started this awesome like sketch club, um, yeah, sketchbook club where you sort of, she gives you a prompt and you have to create artwork for it. And so that was the first one that she put out and I had a lot of fun with it. I decided to do a snow leopard and then um, I, you know, had it in like a forest. This was done with watercolor in the back and then just pencil mainly for this guy. And then I felt like it was a little bit blank. So I said to my daughters, um, you know, oh, what should I add? And then Quinn, my youngest said, um, said a scarf. <laughs> and I was like, hmm, that could actually work. So I made the snow leopard, like he was, he was cold in the snow. And so he had like a nice snowy leopard scarf on. Um, so that was that piece, a bit random. And then this guy, or this girl, is a piece I did with my washi tape. I think it was, I don't know when it was, maybe a few months ago anyway. And um, I was once again inspired by the Finland um, marimekko. <gasps> Remember I forgot that word earlier? Marimekko. So the marimekko designs was heavily inspired in my Finland setup and on this washi tape. So I thought I would add some more pieces around it and just work with my ink brush pen, which I love, the Pentel brush pen. Um, and yeah, just illustrating something. I think it worked really nicely. So it's a scarf made of washi tape, in case you didn't know. And then the final page of the sketchbook was another prompt from Minnie recently, and it, the prompt was Dream. Um, and so I was chatting with my kids again, and I said, um, what happened? I think they were watching Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And then I thought about a dream of like, you know, candy and stuff and how it, what if you were candy, what if you could eat it? 
um, and it kind of went from there. So the kids were throwing in ideas and we came up with this one, which is fairy floss hair or candy, cotton candy maybe if you're American. Um, but yeah, we call it fairy floss over here. And then just lots of lollies, rainbow straps, those necklaces and, and uh, pastel bracelets that you eat. So just lolly central, the lolly lady. <laughs> and then that is it. That is my first sketchbook tour completed. And I'm super happy that I managed to do it within a year and a half. I'm hoping the next one will be much quicker because this one, I still wasn't really dedicated to doing sketching all the time, but I'm hoping to dedicate a lot more time now this year to doing that. So hopefully you'll be seeing more of these sketchbooks in the future. I hope you enjoyed watching and you found it interesting. Um, let me know in the comments which was your favourite page and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for being here. Bye.